Chosen, snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Slave bells ringing, diamonds bling. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Guys, I am super, super excited to give you this dining room makeover video. I absolutely love the way everything came out. I give you a breakdown of how much I spent. Everything will be linked in my Amazon store. Guys, I'm super excited. It wasn't a lot of money, but it made such an immediate impact to the space. And I'm just, I'm overjoyed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm over, I'm over it all. Like I, I love it. I absolutely love it. So if you're interested in seeing how I put this together, definitely keep on watching. And I am super excited for it. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you guys so much. Now let's hop into the video. They say say Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They say say Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back. So guys, I decided to update the dining room, do like a dining room makeover for you and for myself because I've had this dining room set for about 12 years. I bought it secondhand. I bought it from someone um, that I used to work with a long time ago. <laughs> and he told me at the time, he was like, the chairs are really wobbly. You got to keep screwing in the bolts. And you know, it's just, it gets on my nerves. I'm not really feeling it anymore. And I've had it for a long time and it's true. Every other day I have to screw in the bolts for the chairs. The chairs don't match because the I've had a couple chairs actually break, to be honest with you. But they are solid wood and, you know, solid wood is hard to come by and it's very expensive. So I said, you know what? I need to update this dining room. I want to keep the table, but I want to get brand new chairs. Chairs that I can wipe off and I want to just change the whole aesthetic of the dining room so what i'm using right now is black chalk paint and it is the folklore folk art excuse me chalk paint i bought it off of amazon but you can buy it from joanne and michaels if you want or you can get it shipped from amazon and do like amazon prime and have it in like two days one to two days so that's what i did but yes so my first tip for you guys chalk paint is extremely thick and i definitely recommend getting a chalk paint brush it's super easy to work with. It made it 10 times easier to paint the dining room table. It made it so much easier. The chalk paint is thick, so I wasn't worried about it splattering everywhere or anything like that. It had like little, very little splatter or spray, to be honest with you. So I really liked that. And it was just super easy to apply. It was super easy. I ended up doing two coats of the black. And really, I only needed one coat, but... I started painting this at night because I wanted it to dry while the kids were asleep. And Okay, beautiful people, it's the next day. And as you can see, I have a couple spots that need some paint on it. It was late last night, so I couldn't really see all of it, <laughs> all the spots. But I'm going to touch these up and then I'm going to work on the top of the table. Dasher, dancer, prancer, and vixen. Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the beat, bring the trees, bring the trees. Put the lights up, tis the season. Need no Grinch tights, no Ebenezer. Don't believe this. Y'all need Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. Say 
Look what you got up in that bag, yeah I got a racks, racks in my sack or in my bag, yeah They said same name, what you got up in that bag, yeah I got a racks, racks in my sack or in my bag, yeah they said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag, yeah They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag I got racks, racks in my sack, or in my bag Merry Christmas, everybody Whoa, oh, oh, da 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 oh, oh, da 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 oh, oh, da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of it So the first tip I want to give you if you're using any type of paint, chalk paint, regular paint, if you wipe off something, make sure that you let it dry completely. I wiped off the table. I let the ta table dry for about 20 minutes or so before I actually started painting. The second tip I want to give you, when you're working with the chalk paint, a little goes a long way. So it'll spread, it'll, it'll spread pretty good, to be honest with you. A little will definitely go a long way. I, I, I actually ended up painting this table... Well, I gave it four coats, three or four coats. I can't remember. I want to say three coats, but I wanted it to be white, white, stark white. So I didn't want any type of dark, um, anything bleeding through. So I took my time and in between each coat, I let it dry for about four hours. And you don't even have to, chalk paint dries very quickly, guys, dries very quickly. You only need to let it dry, I think it said on the bottle, two hours. But I let mine dry for four hours because I wanted it to be dry, dry. And then I went back and I painted it a second and a third time and I just let it dry. And I, I tried to do it at night, so it did take me a couple days because I wanted it to be where the kids weren't bumping into it and you know oh my gosh mommy the table the table so they actually didn't mind they got to sit in the living room and eat I don't recommend it but I did <laughs> I did let that happen or they sat on the floor and this was done over the weekend so I started on um Friday yes nope I started Thursday night and I got done Sunday pretty sure I got done like Sunday and I waited another day because I had to wait for my rug to come in. Everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long to hold you close. Forget about it. So of course, while the table was drying, it gave me an opportunity to do some other things like put these chairs together. I ended up buying two sets of four chairs. So I bought eight chairs in total. And the, I went with the black and I wanted something that had no material that would be super easy for me to wipe off. And I absolutely love these chairs, guys. They are super comfortable, super sturdy. They hold a weight of up to 360 pounds and they're, like I said, they're easy to wipe off and clean and they're lightweight. Perfect for my family. I love that I got eight chairs because the whole family can actually sit around the dining room table and eat. And I also have another leaf that goes to the dining room table that, uh, that I could possibly add to it to make it larger, you know, whenever I get my bigger dining room. But anyway, back to the chairs. The chairs are super easy. It takes four screws and it's put together in like minutes, guys, like <laughs> minutes. So I did read the reviews on these chairs and they got very good reviews, super easy to put together, very sturdy. So I really like them. Again, everything will be linked down below in my Amazon store if you're interested or you just want to take a look. But also I give you a breakdown of all the pricing at the end. Else, isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh. La, 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 oh, oh, oh. Now I am moving on to the waxing part of it. And 
I really like this wax that I use, but it just, it wasn't enough. So maybe I just wasn't using it right. I don't know, but it just wasn't enough. So I ended up going to Home Depot and no Lowe's, sorry, Lowe's. And I bought another bottle or container of wax. What I was getting to is that I put on four coats of wax and I was reading, you know, all of the reviews and people talking about how they chalk paint their tables. And they were saying if it's going to be a, like a high traffic table, you know, you use it every day, they recommend at least three coats. And I have kids. So of course, <laughs> I put four coats on there. Um, after each coat, you do buff it off. So you let it dry depending on the wax, I'll say that. So definitely read the, the directions of the wax that you buy. This wax was saying let it sit for 24 hours, then buff it off, then put another coat on. So I put two coats of wax of this wax on there, and then I put two coats of the Lowe's wax on. And I, I just, I think it's perfect. It's super easy for me to wipe off now when the wax is still wet or in the drying process, it's really tacky. So you know that it's not done yet. The Lowe's wax said that, I could put the wax on and then wipe off any excess in about like two minutes after. I just let it sit for a little longer and then I went back and I kind of buffed it off. And what I mean by buffing is I took one of my cleaning rags and I kind of did like a circular motion or a straight up and down and rubbed the table until I got off any excess wax. I know you can't see anything because the wax is clear. So <laughs> just in case you were wondering, I did a clear wax. Again, I wanted the table to be stark white. So it's just black and white, which I'm, again, I am loving. It is exactly what I wanted it to be, exactly my vision. I love it. Just putting down my rug and me and Ayana were cracking up we were having us a good time as usual but I bought the exact same rug that I have in my living room for the dining room just to bring in that cohesiveness I really like the rug too I will say that so I really like the new loom rugs I, even up in the twins room and London's room I have those type of rugs as well so I bought the exact same rug and I love it. And then I bought the exact same curtains as in my living room for the dining room because I wanted it to be cohesive since it's so open. Last year I thought about
about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our After I put the curtains up, I was looking at the buffet, which I do plan on redoing as well. And I was like, nope, <laughs> I need to change this around. I'm not feeling it. I haven't been feeling it for a minute, but I definitely said this is the perfect time for me to change everything around. So you'll see me redecorate this area a little bit, um, declutter some of it. I just feel like it was way too much on the buffet. And now I absolutely love the way it came out. So I changed up the buffet. I changed up the table and just um, just the dining room, the decorations all around. So definitely tell me if you like them down in the comments below. And no one cares about yesterday.
So beautiful people, I really hope you enjoyed this dining room makeover. I love the way everything turned out. Like I said, everything will be listed at the end of how much everything cost, but I love the way it turned out. It is exactly how I envisioned it. The table is perfect and it only cost me a couple dollars to redo that table and it is solid wood. So again, if you are trying to change up some furniture in your home, definitely check out Chalk Paint. It's super easy to work with and it makes such an impactful statement. And it's, guys, it just, it works so well. My only tip, only tip, definitely get you a Chalk Paint and Wax brush. With that, it, it just works wonders. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas to you all. Happy holidays. I love y'all to the moon and back and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.